in this how to we are going to learn how to select all records from the grid view generally you might have seen in your inbox where you you would be provided one checkbox at the top in the header of your uh, emails and when, when you click on this checkbox all the records or all your in uh, mails in the inbox gets selected so we are going to achieve the same functionality here so in order to do that what i have done is that first i have created one grid view so here is my grid view code as you can see and then apart from the grid view i have uh, some javascript function so let me just uh, copy paste the javascript function as well here Uh, please hold on copy paste and then we are yes now let me uh, format this uh, uh, code so that it will look good and it will be easily understandable for us so here we here it goes in this grid view we have added one template field called select and in the header template of this uh, uh, template field what we have done is we have kept one checkbox and its id is ch key select all and on on click of this particular checkbox we are uh, firing a select all uh, javascript function by passing its id and in the item template of this template field we have a simply uh, a checkbox one checkbox now what we are going to do here is, is that uh, first let me show you what is inside this select all javascript function so in, here is the select all javascript function and in this function what we have done is that we have first retrieved the form of this page so this is my form of the page i am retrieving using document dot forms of zero naturally because there is only one form in this particular page so this particular forms will be returned and it will be saved into the my form and then we are also going to re uh, return the length of the form so all the, the length of all elements of this form will be saved into the len field and then what we have what we have done is that we have uh, let me just uh, yeah now what we have done is that we have uh, we have first uh, retrieved uh, the this chk select all uh, checkbox because we are, we uh, we are writing document dot get element by id of id and this id is nothing but coming as the parameter and this parameter is nothing but this dot id so it will be chk select all so we are uh, uh, we, we are checking for the checked property of this particular checkbox if it is checked then make it unchecked means uncheck it and if it is unchecked then make it checks so we are uh, using the ternary operator uh, basically so uh, it, it will toggle if it will be already checked then clicking on it will uncheck it and if it is unchecked then clicking on that that checkbox will check it and then what we have done is that we have created one for loop and we are looping till the length of the form elements now here what we have done is that we are checking for each element of the form and we are checking that if the, the type of the element is checkbox if the type of the element is checkbox that will be basically all checkboxes that will appear on the page then uh, we are we are looking for it if it is checked then make it false so means uncheck it and if it is not checked then make it true okay now uh, let us uh, see the code behind so here is the code behind code or you can say server side code so let me copy paste it here yes now let me correct this out yes this and again here this and again here this fine cool so things are looking pretty good now now here what we have done is uh, when the page will be loaded for the first time then it will be not is post back and we are calling the get data method in the get data method as usual we are just uh, uh, using edu.net to populate the data into the uh, table and that table is basically this table is nothing but the database data table 
and that database data table is being uh, set as the data source of the gateway and then we are calling the data bind method that will basically bind the data into the gateway now uh, that's it now you must have noticed that there, was, there is one uh, button on this particular ASPX page uh, called get selected records and on the click of this button we have a specified get selected uh, server side method and in this get selected server side method what we are doing is that we are looping through all the rows of the gate view and we are finding the checkbox and this checkbox we are finding nothing but on the item template and we are checking if the checkbox is checked then we are writing the uh, value of that particular row okay so let me show you uh, uh, this so so that it will be clear naturally demonstration uh, with the help of demonstration we can understand it is uh, understand it very easily so let me just run this page yeah because we have here i have not a specified auto generated column equal to false so columns will be automatically generated and on top of that because i have added one uh, a column explicitly so this column will also be added you can see here all the checkbox column has been added and the first uh, the header checkbox is nothing but this checkbox now when i will click this the header checkbox what will happen is that uh, select all uh, javascript function will fire and that will basically loop through all the uh, elements of the uh, form and it will check for uh, its type if it is checkbox then it will check it if it is not already checked and if it is already checked then it will uncheck it so let me do that you can see that when i am checking it all the checkbox have been checked when i am unchecking it then all the checkbox have been unchecked now let me select few of them and then when i will check it then you will see that it will do opposite if it is already checked then it will, it will uncheck it you can see here now let me uh, click on the get selected records and it will you will see that from 1 till 30 all the records has been printed here because of this uh, uh, get selected method you can see here it is printing the comma separated values so that's what is printed here 